If you've ever wanted to make a crustless lemon cream pie that doesn't have any cream, today is the day for you. Today we're going back to 1918 and we are going to a publication that was an African American magazine that was published for about nine years from 1916 to 1925 that was called the Half Century Magazine. The edition that today's recipe comes from was actually the two year anniversary of the paper and the article on the front page about their two year anniversary was quite interesting. Talking about how the paper filled the need for African Americans that were both businessmen and homemakers alike. And it was kind of a general publication and they have a page in every edition that has recipes and so today's recipe comes from 1918 and it is for a crustless lemon cream pie now as I stated already there's not actually any cream in this uh, there is a little bit of milk and there is a, a meringue basically that is going to go on the top of this at the end if I had to guess it's probably the meringue that they're calling a cream uh, for this pie uh, but we're gonna get started we're going to start with the lemons themselves. The recipe calls for two lemons and you're going to be using both the juice and the rind from both of those lemons. So I'm going to start with the rind and then cut my lemons open, squeeze them, and then move on to some other ingredients. To our lemons, we're going to put three quarters of a cup of sugar, as well as a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I also have two cups of hot water here, and I'm going to put that in. And then we're gonna to move this to the stove and boil it. We're just going to bring this up to a boil. And while that's coming to a boil, I'm actually gonna get five tablespoons of cornstarch mixed with a little bit of milk ready to go. Because after this is done boiling, we're going to add that immediately and mix it in. Our lemon mixture is boiling, and as you saw, I have combined our cornstarch with some milk, and I'm sure that this is gonna drive some of you crazy, but there is no actual amount given in the recipe for the milk. You just kinda have to eyeball that until you have uh, enough to dissolve the cornstarch. But I'm gonna add this to our uh, boiling lemon mixture, and then turn this down to low to let this thicken up a little bit. I've got that sitting over the lowest heat possible. The recipe actually says to have that sit over a low heat, low fire, for about five minutes. Um, however, on the lowest heat that I could possibly give it with the stove that I have, it's still making big plopping noises back there. It's very thick with all that cornstarch in it and thickened up nearly instantly. Uh, but we're going to be adding the yolks of uh, three eggs to this, which I am beating now. And um, as you know, if you add eggs to any hot mixture, you're going to get scrambled eggs. Uh, so to prevent that, uh, even though the directions don't say to do this, I'm gonna temper these eggs a little bit uh, before I add this to the whole mixture. And then this is just gonna go in the fridge to chill for a while. It's been about five minutes and our lemon mixture is pretty thick. It's already kind of a pudding-like substance. Uh, again, because there is so much cornstarch in this, uh, but I need to temper these uh, egg yolks that I have here. And remember, these are separated. This is just egg yolks. Uh, so I'm gonna put a little bit of our hot mixture in while whisking constantly. And hopefully this will get the job done without scrambling these eggs.
The only thing left to do now is to make the meringue for our pie. And as you'll recall, I separated out three eggs earlier in this. We used the yolks in the filling for the pie. Uh, I have the three egg whites in this bowl here, which I am going to use my stand mixer to beat stiff. Um, now just be careful that you don't overbeat these uh, because then it can separate and that does not create uh, a good meringue. Um, if you want, you absolutely could do this by hand. It just takes a long time and you end up with a really sore arm at the end of it. I've just pulled the pie out of the fridge and the lemon custard has firmed up nicely and I'm just going to put on the meringue that we just created here and make sure that that covers our whole pie and we're going to throw that under the broiler for uh, just a few minutes so this meringue can get uh, browned up a little bit and uh, I also have two tablespoons of sugar that I'm going to throw on top of this meringue here. A few comments before I even taste it. Yes, the top did get a little dark. The sugar burned a little bit under the broiler because I let my attention get too distracted while it was under the broiler. Um, and it did not come out in a nice, neat piece. Uh, I did try cutting a few other pieces and none of them came out uh, neatly. So I just went with it. But you know, it's not about what it looks like all the time. Sometimes it's just about what it tastes like. So let's see what this tastes like. And it's actually really nice. It's light, it's refreshing. Um, the lemon is actually really, really nice. I like this filling. I think I would like the meringue more had the sugar been mixed into it instead of just sprinkled on top. Uh, however, uh, even with the burnt parts, you know, I can pick those off uh, and I would eat this filling all day long. It's, it's really nice. Like I said, it's light uh, since this is summer. Uh, this would be a really nice summer uh, dessert to have for a weeknight. And it actually whips up pretty quickly and fairly easily. Uh, if you have some experience with making custards and things like that, uh, this is actually easier than most custards because you have that cornstarch which thickened it more than uh, the actual egg did. Um, and uh, you obviously don't have to make a crust for this, so that makes it nice too. Uh, in fact, I think if I were to make this again, I might just do it in like a 9 by 9 pan versus a pie plate. Uh, and then just use a spoon to scoop it out and then I wouldn't have to worry about making it look pretty. Um, but this is, this is pretty decent. Uh, I would give this a try. It's a nice uh, summer dessert. If you have some lemons and want to use those, go for it. Highly recommend. We'll see you next time on Recipe Reviver. Mm -hmm.